What's up gaming heroes and welcome back to another awesome World of Warcraft video. My name is Erosium and in today's video we're going over how I made 3 million gold in World of Warcraft. Now for anyone that doesn't know, I'm very much an all-round player. I don't just focus on gold making, I don't just focus on raiding, I don't just focus on Mythic Plus, PvP, whatever it is. I play all forms of gameplay in World of Warcraft. So for someone like myself to make this type of gold, I'm clearly doing something right because the gold making I'm doing is very much limited amount of time because I want to spend my time doing various different things in the game because I enjoy doing current content and I enjoy doing collecting and things like that as well. So I really try and get a good variety of gameplay here on the channel. So all these gold making methods are possible for anyone to use. You don't need to have 100 million hours to play the game. You can do this with just a couple hours a day. As always, if you want to get my best goal making methods and just general guides, then I have some awesome guides on erosiumtv.com. To check that out, please go over to my Patreon. And if you support me, you can get full access to my Patreon website, erosiumtv.com. We've recently just hired someone who's going to be coming on to write articles three times a week for that website. So there's going to be so much value. It's going to be unreal. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Alrighty then. So here we are. We are on my priest. And for anyone that doesn't know, this priest is really my, my character that I use to do all my auctioning. I'm going to do a full TSM breakdown because I always find it a bit sus. If you don't do a TSM breakdown, I'm like, what's going on here? If you don't do it, I just assume there's something nefarious going on. Personally, I like to see profits, expenditure, everything like that so that is exactly what i do in these videos so three million gold let's show you right now we're at three million one hundred and twenty one thousand gold this month was a very difficult month guys i've got to be honest it was a really difficult month and uh, the reason for that is because i've spent nearly eight hundred thousand gold i spent a lot of gold this month a lot of gold this month and it's mostly just investing so that future months will be even easier with the gold making. I've been investing a lot into BOE markets and that's island transmogs, things like that. Just investing a lot of my gold into that. So when you go in really like closely, you can see that, you know, a lot of the time I make some gold and then I spend some gold and I make some gold and it just stays flat. If it stays flat, that's because um, I've spent gold. Basically, it would be me earning gold, but then I immediately spend that gold I've earned. I'm not buying anything for my characters. I'm buying just more BOEs, more island transmogs before anyone says in the chat or in the comments oh you can't sell this on on my realm or stuff like that that's nonsense okay this is a island expedition transmog they sell on every realm i'd say low population realm you're gonna have some troubles all right so if you you choose to play on a low pop realm that's your decision but medium and above definitely works because i've done it on a medium population realm okay it does take some time to sell it does but you have to accept if you're playing on a lower population realm that's going to be you know the, the situation you're dealing with i'm on a full population realm and i've done this on a high pop and a medium pop and it works just fine so let's do a full breakdown here and uh, let's just check the mailbox as well and now there's nothing going to be special in the mailbox at all it's just going to show you you know a bunch of more transmogs and things like that of that nature now i've recently added some cool farms to my arsenal that i want to kind of go over in today's video as well because that uh, they are really really cool uh, so let's just get this, this stuff posted and in the meantime I'm just going to bring up TSM again and I'm going to show you some of my flips that I've done this month. Alright, revenue, resale. I want to filter this by group. Let's expand all these and filter this to island expedition groups. Alright guys, so this is the last 30 days. This is effectively where I buy items and then I resell the items. The unfortunate thing for this is if I bought the item before the last 30 days, it doesn't class as a resale, so I have to just look at sales. But you can see here that for the, the vast majority of, you know, flips here, I've lost a little bit of gold on some flips, but that's completely fine to be expected. These mistakes do happen. And sometimes I sell these, you know, to like a vendor uh, because I've got too many of an item. If say I've got like 10 chest plates, I might sell like three to an, a vendor. So I only have seven because I don't want to just overpopulate a market. It's no good. But as you can see, we've got huge flips here going on. Bought something for 3,000, sold it for 6,600. Bought something for 800 gold, sold it for 11,700. Bought something for a thousand gold, sold it for seven thousand gold. Bought something for five hundred gold, sold it for four thousand gold. Flipping is a good market. This is Island Expedition transmogs, and if you're wondering how I know what transmogs they are, I actually created a group with every single 
Island Expedition Transmog and I put it on my Patreon. So anyone on my Patreon can get access to that. So they just import the group and it literally just as easy as scanning and then buying what you want to buy. Razorfin Great Belt, 3000 gold bought. Sold it for 31,000 gold, dude. That's disgusting. And then Tomb Keepers Leggards bought for 900 gold. Sold for just under 3k again. Uh, lots of Twilight Dragon arm plates. Lots of these. These have been selling really quickly, actually. It's really impressive. Now I'm just going to go to sale and change this group here to, again, the same Island Expedition Transmog to see if it's the same thing. So as you can see, I've actually sold another 200,000 gold almost just of Island Expedition Transmogs, but I bought them before the, the last 30 days. So I bought them last last month and I'm selling them this month. It's very much like that. So as you can see, total I made 291,891 gold on Island Expedition Transmogs. That in itself is, is a token, a World of Warcraft gold token, easy peasy, double lemon, extra squeezy. Past that, let's go ahead and look at tailoring right now. On tailoring alone, I've made 317,000 gold. Uh, that's obviously not just pure profit. There's obviously gonna be a certain amount that is you know crafting cost. Let's just say, let's take 15% off, uh, or let's say, say take 10% off here and just say 31,000 gold was like crafting costs and the rest is pure profit profit that's really gosh darn good and i'm really really happy with that so that's again another gold token pretty much uh, on just tailoring alone let's go ahead and select enchanting alone not as much obviously that's to be expected a lot of these are leveling enchants and i'm gonna up the uh, the actual crafting cost in enchanting because a lot of the crafting cost on enchanting does cost a bit more so let's go for 20 percent on that uh, so as, as i say about twenty-eight thousand gold for that maybe like twenty-nine thousand gold for crafting costs and the rest is all pure profit after that that's pretty good gold still because it's just something I, I log on once a day to do outside of that don't really worry about it too much again it was a bit of a slow seller this month materials i haven't been selling as much materials and there's been a reason for that a really good reason for that i, I will explain it a little bit but basically we made 300 and 43,000 gold on materials. Something to bear in mind with materials, the only chance I'll ever be selling materials is A, if I'm leveling a character and I find a random material that's worth something, I'll send it over to this character to post in the auction house, or B, I go out and I specifically farm for materials. If I do that, then I know for a fact that I'm doing that to make some serious gold. A uh, sealed tomb of lost legion. These are a warlock item that you can farm and sell on the auction house. I sold that obviously for 6,600 uh, gold. A huge ogre cache. This is something that you can farm from the garrison uh, from just doing the mission tables. If you've got high level followers, you can do this. And I sold that for 4,400. Amazing profit. Uh, abyssal fragments. These come from just farming things like gold remains and they randomly drop and give you great amounts of gold. I sold three of those for 3,800. Wild Vine. I farmed a bunch of Wild Vine with my viewers on stream and I sold a bunch of those uh, to the auction house again. More Wild Vine and these guys are just selling like crazy. I sold a ton of Basilisk Eyes. Damp scale Basilisk Eyes. I sold over 300 of these. Nearly 400 of these Basilisk Eyes at 133 gold a pop. When I do the math on that, 186 plus 171 equals 490. Yes, yeah, so I was pretty much right. Uh, times 100 and 33 equals 65,000 gold alone from the Basilisk guys. They are amazing sellers right there. They did absolutely incredible. Some other just general stuff I've been selling is Corium Ore. Sold some Corium Ore. Sold some Golden Pearls, which is one of my farms that I do on stream. I sold some Dark Runes. Sold some Fell Steel Bars. All this stuff is used very much in crafted transmog materials. You need these materials to make some really high value crafted transmogs. So that's pretty much how I made that, that gold right there. Now resale, if I look at resale for materials, I'm just gonna filter this to materials alone. Uh, it says that my profit is I'm down on profit, right? And there's a really good reason for this. I basically buy materials and then I'll transfer them into something else, such as like I'll buy moats of mana and I'll turn them into primal mana. And I'll just hold on to them until the, the value on those increases and I'll do the same for primal fires and moats of fires. I'm completely fine taking a immediate short-term loss in order to get a long-term gain. I'm 100% fine with that. So that's why it will show as a lower value just there on a whole. But if I go to overall sales, it says 1,394,000 gold this month. And that's just, as I say, because I spend so much gold back on the auction house, it takes a lot longer for me to make the gold back because next month when I sell tons of Island Expedition Transmog, it's, it's amazing. It really worked well. Now, 
Now, it is worth noting that I, I actually raid two nights a week here on World of Warcraft with my guild, and I raid lead those nights, so I'm really focused on the actual raid on those evenings. I make sure I do at least one plus 15 every week on three characters, and then I usually try and get at least one more level 60 every week as well. As you can see, I've, I, I've got kind of a little bit of stuff that I'm juggling. Then I like to make sure that I get all my mission tables done on all of my characters, so I'm, I've just got so much, like, building, and I've got so much things that I do in World of Warcraft that just purely focusing on gold making alone, I can make millions a week. It's easy. It's easy doing that with these types of methods, but I'm not focusing 100% on that. I like to keep myself busy in World of Warcraft, and that makes me stay loving the game for years and years to come. I, I think that's what keeps people interested. And also having that spare time to do other stuff allows me to be creative enough to create new gold farms. This is where we go into the next part of the video. I recently created a brand new type of gold farm and it's called Rare Treasure Node Farming. RTN Farming, I call it for short. And it's effectively where you will go around not a specific zone, but multi zones. That's that's really where I changed the game on this. And you'll start like say at the garrison and you'll go up here and you'll go to kill this rare here, go to kill that rare here, you go to kill this rare here you go get some treasure you pick up all the ore along the way and then you'll make a route and then you'll come through to the next area and you do the same thing again you come through to the next area you do the same thing again and i've been creating uh, some awesome one hour farms focused purely on rtn farming rare treasure node farming and they are doing so well dude i put them on my patreon and people are absolutely loving it they are loving it. Uh, so I've been just changing the way that roots work and people have, have just been eating it up. So let me just log into my character right for a second. You can see. Let's show you my rogue because the, the reason you want to do this on rogues is as an outlaw rogue, you can track treasure and tracking treasure allows you to just keep an eye on the minimap and not have to specifically look in every single spot along the route. It just allows you to be a little bit quicker. You don't have to check caves because you immediately know if the cave has loot or not. Now, for anyone that doesn't know, an outlaw rogue, which is the spec, outlaw has a unique ability called find treasure and this allows you to track treasures on the minimap so i can effectively be in somewhere like oldham and i can do my special route and i've got a multi-zone route that starts in oldham and it takes you all the way through multiple zones into silithus into ungoro into many other zones and ends in the southern barrens uh, that's a one hour route it gets you around about 100 to 200 000 gold per hour just doing this route typically you it's because you get so many boes from chests you get really really good boes and it's actually disgusting how could they are but what i love about this is you get so much gosh darn loot from it it's incredible so it's called rare treasure node farming and i've been doing a lot of this i've been making a lot of them and spending a lot of time creating these special types of routes where you're focused purely on doing this if you want to check any of these new farms out go over to my patreon and check them out because it as i say we are releasing a lot there so see on the minimap it says silken treasure chest it's, uh, it's tracked that treasure for me. I now know it's there. I can quickly grab that and boom. How much is that worth? It says region sale value is 28,000 gold, but on my realm, it's not worth quite as much. It's worth 5,500. And there we go. That's it. That's literally all I do is I follow my special route that takes me uh, to get as much ore as possible, but also to get all of the rare elites that I can, all of the chests that I can, everything like that. It gets me all of the gold possible to get on this character. And I'll go to the next zone and I'll do the same thing like that. And it, it's just a great way of basically getting as much as much gold as possible out of these routes. And that's what I've been doing to maximize my profit and get myself quite a lot of really high value transmogs. I kind of got a rule here that I don't like to sell transmogs unless they're worth uh, about 5,000 gold plus. It's just, to me, it's not really worth it quite as much, you know? And there's loads of people, it's quite funny, there's loads of people who do just farming Oldham, right, for ore. And the ores are, are okay, but you, you can only make, like, what, 10 to 20,000 gold just farming Oldham? Doing the, the routes that I've created recently, you can farm a lot more than that. Anyhow, let's switch back to my priest so that I can basically teach you guys how I assess a market and how I 
decide whether something is worth flipping or not because that's really what you guys are here for right you want to know how on earth are you making this gold with flipping how are you deciding whether this is worth flipping or that's worth flipping or this is worth flipping you know i'm making a lot of gold with this so it's quite a passive way to to make gold you only need like five minutes a day to check a market and repost that's all you need it's no time at all if you can make a token a month by just flipping on the auction house that's bloody incredible but you have to spend some gold to do that guys you have to spend some gold and i've been spending a lot of gold recently to allow myself to do that all right so let's go ahead and scan the auction house right now so we first of all i always scam armor first and weapons second i like to just keep my mind clear here so that i can see what is happening now there's obviously 193 items being scanned so it does take a little while but if you want to get access to any of these like tsm strings or anything like that i actually have a really cool website which actually goes through a full guide on flipping on the auction house and it has all of my island expedition transmog strings right there i'm not going to take you through the entire guide there but there's the start of my guide for island expedition flipping i've got loads of really really cool stuff that you guys could potentially check out okay the scan is done so first is first and uh, whatever is at the top of the screen is definitely the, the best deal you can possibly get so we're going to go ahead and buy that so that's uh, 61 percent of the market value the region market value is 27,000 gold so we're going to buy that 2,000 gold easy flip right there next thing we're going to do is go down to wherever there's an arrow uh, if there's no arrow there like no little triangle that means that is a uh, that is no competition there and potentially a good market for you to get involved in 4,200 gold there we can reach in value post that at 13,000 gold so we're going to buy that uh, because there's no competition whatsoever right there I always like having no competition it means uh, it's much easier you can get competition in the future but, I mean, it's not guaranteed, is it? Look at that. Someone's got that as a nice flip. Look at that, dude. That's a beautiful flip. Oh, I guarantee someone's flipped that because that's only one on the auction house and it's at a high price. Fair play to whoever got that. Really good job. Oh, Pirate Admiral's Bicorn. That is a really rare transmog. Uh, the Bicorn especially. You can get a lot of plundered Admiral stuff, but not the Bicorn. That tends to drop really rarely. Uh, someone's been resetting these... Um, these Dragon Riders harnesses, these recently were about 7,000 gold on the auction house, so someone did a massive reset. But again, it's one of those, you have to buy an entire auction house out in order to sell one. It's it's just, it's investing a lot of gold to do that. Uh, right here, these Frostwind mantles, only one of them on the auction house, but they're at the region sale value, so I won't touch those. Right here, the Spirit Borough bindings. These are on for 6,300 gold, and there's no competition. And it saves that I could repost this at 12k. That's a 6k profit. It is a slight risk because someone else could find these. But I think it's going to be a worthwhile risk for me to take. So I'm actually going to go ahead and buy those. Uh, I think that's a worthwhile risk for me to take on that one. I'm probably not going to go any further down because, you know, the... The, the values are really starting to go up here. Now, let's have a look here. The Soric Scale Boots, these sell like hotcakes, so I don't know why they're on so low right now. Uh, 4,000 gold. Hmm, this could be an interesting one right here. There's four of them. How many of these have I got? I've got two in my bags right now, and these are worth 4,000. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and buy all of those out and just own that market completely. That's completely fine by me. Spend a bit of gold in order to earn a bit of gold. Let's have a look at what's next. Uh, we've got Whirring, Devrish Bow. There's too many people on that. There's too many people on that one in particular. You can make a bit of gold, 9,000 gold right there. You can definitely make a bit of gold, but the issue is you're going to be absolutely invested. You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm talking myself into it now, guys. Ah, oh, you could get really over-invested in that. No, I'm going to think on that one, I think, because I don't like to, to buy more than three or four of an item at push. You know, I just don't like it. It doesn't sit right in my uh, my gut instinct there. The two Twilight Dragons arm plates right there, these sell stupidly well, so I'm going to definitely buy these and repost them at probably about six or 7,000 gold because people need to buy those to complete the set. So I will definitely buy those. Have we got any other arm plates or gloves or stuff like that are quite cheap? The Swamp Fury Crown always looks like a good deal, but for some reason, my realm, it just never is. So I try and stay away from it. Captain's Hat. I mean, it could, but there seems to be a f quite a few in the auction house. I'm not going to touch that one. Voodoo Stalker's Mask. Isn't that quite an expensive transmog? That's mine. Okay. Oh, someone's reset the price down. Oh, I see. I bought it at 3,000 gold, so it's still profit for me. That's fine. What else is there? Offshore Bank. Someone's put... Someone's name is Offshore Bank. Twilight Great Belt. That's brilliant. That's a double deal for me. Buy both of those. Stick them back up. So the, the one underneath where mine was... So it's 25,000 gold. So I just bought something worth 1,500 gold and reposting it at a much higher value. So that's, as I say, a brilliant deal for me. Past that, I can't really see any more deals there. I would probably look through a little bit more. Foot wraps. How many? No. 
<laughs> so many competition. Uh, let's have a blood wake girdle. No, too much competition. There's a lot of people who just transfer from, from another realm and bring a bunch of transmogs along with them and they just ruin a market. I'm going to buy these frostwind braces here as well because I think I can reset these to 10k. And then let's just quickly repost that stuff. So we spent about 26,000 gold on transmogs just then. We're just going to repost right now. As I said, we got quite a few copies of several transmogs. Oh, I actually don't have these frostwind braces as a transmog. So the beauty of being a flipper is that you can sometimes flip items and get spare copies of items that you need for your own transmogs. So let's go ahead and learn those and then let's go ahead and post these back on the auction house. All right, so the belt is now being posted for 39,000 gold. The Whirlish Devrish Turban, um, which I bought for 4,200, was it? I thought I bought it for less than that. I need to just double check that. TSM, ledger, expenses. All right, so the turbans, I bought these 4,000. Oh, are these different to the ones I bought just a minute ago? Hold on, let's have a look here. Yes, so I bought it for 4,200 gold. So hopefully we can sell these at banging profit now. All right, the Twilight arm plates we bought 290 gold scale headgear again just amazing profit here look at the, the profit on some of the stuff fire king gloves oh my gosh we're gonna make some profit here guys it's gonna be epic i'm looking forward to this looking forward to seeing what we get from that it's always nice when you get some serious profit in from this stuff outside of that i do several like just material farms when i'm streaming here on youtube i stream here on youtube every monday and friday and recently we've been hitting quite good numbers on the viewers i said to my viewers when we hit over 50 viewers i'll consider doing a third stream every week well we hit over 50 viewers and we've been doing consistently so i've said okay let's do a third stream so my third streams are always going to be either on a thursday or a saturday uh depending on the week but guaranteed here on youtube every monday and friday you'll always have a stream okay so feel free to subscribe to the channel so you can join in some of those awesome farms so some of the farms that i do are the blasted lands golden pearl farm over here and the red reaches i do a golden pearl farming just here it sells ridiculously well it's just disgusting actually how good it sells uh, another farm that i do is in northern stranglethorn i do wild vine killing the trolls here you get quite a lot of good wild vine there another great farm is over in outlands uh, i do my damp scale basilisk guys farming uh, just at this lake right here uh, just killing the the basilisk you get eyes and then you can sell them for 133 gold each the prison keys i get those from killing mobs in the mana tombs they just drop prison keys and then i can sell those on the auction house uh, the moats of the primal fires i get those from throne of kill jaden sells amazing in the auction house the primal manors right here kiranvar village amazing primal manor market right there just do so 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 well if we go back to azeroth we go to eastern kingdoms and eastern plague lands in corin's crossing this is where we farm for all of the dark runes which sell incredibly on the auction house as well all of that stuff all those materials kind of come together to basically get that 350,000 gold that i got this month just on making gold it's really awesome. I really hope you enjoyed this video. You got some value from it. If you did get some value, please feel free to hit the subscribe button. Leave me a comment in the section below. And now feel free to join the Discord, uh, which is in the description below. Thanks for watching. This is Erosium out.